The Object 3i Atlas is defying our expectations. While many are quick to label it a comet, its behavior is so unusual that it may be better understood as an interstellar wanderer, a visitor from beyond our solar system. Unlike typical comets, asteroids or dwarf planets, its characteristics don't quite fit into any of those categories. This object likely formed under conditions completely foreign to the solar system, which could explain why it seems to be rewriting the rules we use to classify celestial bodies. Its composition, its trajectory, and now even its light signature are unlike anything we've seen before, and that is exactly why astronomers and astrophysicists are paying close attention. Recent measurements taken between July and August reveal something even more remarkable. Its coma, the massive cloud of gas, dust and plasma that surrounds it, has been growing dramatically as it approaches the Sun. By late August, this halo had expanded to nearly half the size of the Sun itself, an extraordinary development that makes the object one of the most spectacular visitors we've ever observed. But this is no ordinary uniform cloud. Polarization data, which tracks how light is scattered when it bounces off dust and gas, shows that 3i Atlas is wrapped in intricate structures. Its coma is layered with regions of strong negative polarization giving way to rings of positive polarization, almost like a vast plasma shell forming around it. These structures are dynamic, changing and becoming more complex with time, which suggests that this object is actively interacting with the solar wind and magnetic environment of the inner solar system. The sheer size, complexity and behavior of its coma hint that 3i Atlas is far more than a simple ball of ice and dust. It may represent an entirely new class of interstellar traveler. During the September lunar eclipse, astronomers stationed in Namibia captured a surprising view of 3i Atlas. The object, already known for its unusual behavior, appeared to glow an eerie green against the darkened sky. This was unexpected. Comets typically emit a green glow due to diatomic carbon C, too fluorescing when struck by sunlight, yet previous spectroscopic readings showed that 3i Atlas was unusually depleted in this element. Its green light then must be caused by some other mechanism, perhaps a unique plasma process or exotic chemical interaction taking place within its massive coma. This mystery deepens when considering that 3i Atlas also has a deep reddish hue, common among objects that have spent eons in the harsh interstellar medium. The combination of a dark red surface and a glowing green atmosphere gives the object a strange, almost contradictory visual signature, like something that belongs more to science fiction than our solar system. This duality, red and green, dark and luminous, has fascinated researchers, pushing them to reconsider how such objects behave when they cross into the Sun's domain. It is possible that as 3i Atlas warms, previously inert compounds buried within its nucleus are becoming active, releasing exotic gases that produce this unusual emission. Or it could be that its massive and highly energized plasma envelope is producing light in ways that mimic green fluorescence without the usual chemistry. Whatever the cause, the sight of an interstellar traveler shining emerald in the night sky is unlike anything we've recorded before. It suggests that 3i Atlas is not just an ordinary body, but a complex and active system, a messenger from beyond carrying clues about the environments it has passed through. As it moves closer to the Sun, astronomers expect its activity to intensify, potentially revealing even more about its composition, and maybe answering the question of why it glows the way it does. Supporting this idea of complexity, polarization data collected over weeks has revealed that the object's coma is far from a featureless cloud. Instead, it shows an intricate and evolving structure that speaks to ongoing dynamic processes. At its core lies a region with near zero polarization, suggesting a relatively uniform scattering of light, possibly indicating dense gas or fine dust that diffuses sunlight evenly. Surrounding this calm center are rings where polarization swings sharply negative and others where it becomes strongly positive, forming a pattern almost like ripples or shells around the nucleus. These layers are not static. With each observation, the patterns shift, grow and become more intricate, implying that the coma is being shaped by both internal outgassing and external forces such as the solar wind. Such a structured polarization pattern is characteristic of plasma phenomena, where electric and magnetic fields can organize matter into filaments and double layers that remain coherent over time. 
The fact that 3i Atlas is showing these signatures on a scale this large is extraordinary. It tells us that this object may be interacting with the solar system in a far more complex way than a typical comet would, not just passively sublimating ice, but actively forming a vast electromagnetic cocoon. As it continues its journey inward, these structures may become even more pronounced, offering a rare opportunity to study the interplay between interstellar material and the Sun's environment in real time. Polarization is one of the most revealing tools we have to decode the secrets of distant objects like 3i Atlas. At its core, polarization simply describes the orientation of light waves. Sunlight is normally unpolarized. Its electric fields vibrate in every possible direction as it travels. But when that light interacts with dust grains, ice particles or plasma, its waves can become aligned in specific ways. This alignment, or polarization, carries an enormous amount of information about the material that caused it. By measuring the degree and angle of polarization, astronomers can infer the size of dust grains, the texture of their surfaces, and even the shape and density of the coma that surrounds an object. This is why 3i Atlas's polarization data is so significant. It is giving us a three-dimensional physical portrait of its structure, one that goes far beyond simple imaging. The phase angle, the geometric relationship between the Sun, the object and the observer, plays a critical role in this analysis. When the angle is small, we are looking almost straight at the sunlit face of the object, and the polarization we measure is usually negative. This means the electric fields of the scattered light tend to line up parallel to the Sun-object-Earth plane. As the phase angle increases, in other words, as we view the object more from the side, polarization becomes positive, meaning the light waves are aligned perpendicular to that plane. This transition point, where polarization switches from negative to positive, is one of the key diagnostics scientists use to classify comets and other small bodies. It reflects the interplay between the size and composition of the dust and the way light scatters through it. For 3i Atlas, this transition and the overall shape of its polarization curve are unusual. The data suggests that its coma is not made of ordinary comet dust, but of something more complex, perhaps a mixture of large grains, unusual ice crystals and charged plasma. This explains why its coma shows structured rings of polarization, with zones alternating between positive and negative values. Such ordered features are difficult to explain with a simple model of sublimating ice. Instead, they hint at a system where magnetic and electric fields are actively shaping the environment, causing dust and plasma to align in coherent patterns, much like what we see in planetary magnetospheres or in laboratory plasma experiments. Studying this evolution over time has revealed that the polarization pattern is not static. It grows more intricate as the object approaches the Sun, almost as if its internal energy is being awakened by solar radiation. When we place three I Atlas's polarization curves side by side with those of other known bodies, the results become even more striking. Most comets have a predictable polarization signature a shallow dip into negative polarization at low phase angles, followed by a steady rise into the positive as the viewing angle increases, peaking near 90 degrees. Asteroids generally show weaker polarization overall since their surfaces are solid and scatter light differently than a diffuse cloud of gas and dust. But 3i Atlas doesn't fully resemble either category. Its curve drops more sharply into negative polarization than most comets, and its crossover into positive polarization seems delayed, suggesting that its dust particles or plasma environment are influencing light scattering in an atypical way. Interestingly, its polarization curve seems to match more closely with that of distant trans-Neptunian objects, icy worlds and planetoids that orbit far beyond Neptune. These bodies, like Pluto, Eris and Makemake, have surfaces and exospheres that have been processed by billions of years of exposure to cosmic radiation, leaving them coated in complex organic compounds and giving them a reddish coloration. If 3i Atlas shares these characteristics, it may imply that it formed in a similar environment, perhaps on the edge of another star system's Kuiper belt, and was eventually ejected into interstellar space. Its resemblance to these frozen outliers is fascinating, 
as it suggests we are witnessing not merely a visitor from beyond the solar system, but potentially a representative of an entire class of objects that form in the cold, dark reaches between stars. The implications are profound. If 3i Atlas truly behaves like a trans-Neptunian object but has travelled across interstellar space to get here, then its presence offers a rare chance to compare our own solar system's outer bodies with those of another stellar nursery. Its unique polarization curve is like a fingerprint, telling us that it is not just an oversized comet but something more primordial, more alien. By continuing to track its polarization as it nears perihelion, astronomers hope to refine models of its coma composition and perhaps even glimpse how it is built beneath the shroud of gas and plasma. Every new data point adds to the case that 3i Atlas is not an anomaly, but a herald. Evidence that interstellar objects may come in many forms, some of which challenge the way we classify and understand small bodies entirely. During the lunar eclipse on September 7th, telescopes in Namibia captured a truly extraordinary sight. 3i Atlas, glowing a brilliant, almost ghostly green against the darkness of space. For most comets, this phenomenon is well understood. The green color usually comes from diatomic carbon, C2, fluorescing when exposed to ultraviolet sunlight. Yet in Atlas's case, previous spectroscopic measurements showed a surprisingly low abundance of C2, which raises a deeper mystery about what is causing this vivid display. Some astronomers suggest that the glow may instead be tied to more complex dusty plasma interactions within its coma, or perhaps even the presence of molecules rarely seen in ordinary comets. This has led to speculation that we might be witnessing chemical processes unique to objects forged beyond our solar system. Reactions involving exotic ices, charged particles, and cosmic ray processed organics that have been drifting through interstellar space for millions of years. What makes the site even more intriguing is the object's peculiar coloration when viewed through polarization filters. Beneath the emerald glow, Atlas shows an overall reddish-brown tint, as though its nucleus has been stained by long exposure to interstellar radiation. This dark hue contrasts sharply with the bright coma and suggests that the nucleus itself may be coated with a layer of complex tholins, organic compounds formed when cosmic rays and ultraviolet light break apart simple molecules and reassemble them into darker, tar-like substances. Such coatings have been found on the surfaces of Pluto and other distant trans-Neptunian objects, adding weight to the idea that Atlas might have been born in the cold outer disk of another star system. As Atlas moves inward toward the Sun, it is becoming more dynamic. Its coma is expanding, its tail growing longer and more structured, and its polarization maps show increasing complexity. Almost as though its internal ice and dust reservoirs are being awakened by solar heat. The object's path will soon bring it into an intriguing celestial alignment. Around October 3rd, it will pass relatively close to Mars, offering a rare chance for ground-based and orbital observatories to study it at high resolution. This flyby could provide critical data on its outgassing rate, nucleus rotation and dust production, giving astronomers a clearer picture of what exactly we are dealing with. One of the biggest uncertainties remains the size of Atlas's nucleus. Current estimates vary wildly, from as small as a few hundred metres across to potentially tens of kilometres in diameter. Such a broad range highlights just how difficult it is to study something so distant, faint and shrouded in its own coma. A smaller nucleus would suggest that Atlas could disintegrate as it approaches the Sun, just as some sun-grazing comets have done. A larger nucleus, on the other hand, would mean it is more likely to survive its passage through perihelion and could remain an object of study for months or even years to come. Either scenario will be scientifically valuable, but the outcome may reveal whether this is a fragile visitor that will vanish into dust or a robust interstellar wanderer destined to slingshot back into deep space. Atlas's trajectory keeps it weaving through the inner solar system over the coming weeks, staying within the orbits of the terrestrial planets before it makes its closest solar approach around October 29th. As it nears perihelion, the combination of solar wind, magnetic fields and intense radiation will likely drive dramatic changes in its appearance. Its tail may stretch to extreme lengths, its coma may brighten suddenly, and new jets of material may burst from its surface. 
The weeks surrounding perihelion will therefore be crucial for observation, as they might show whether Atlas exhibits unexpected behavior, fragmentation events, abrupt surges in activity, or even rotational breakups that could transform it entirely. This is what makes 3i Atlas so captivating. It is not just another comet tracing a predictable arc through the sky, but a dynamic, evolving enigma. Its strange green glow, its possible interstellar chemistry, its unpredictable size, and its upcoming encounters with Mars and the Sun all combine to make it one of the most scientifically significant objects in recent memory. With every new observation, it forces astronomers to refine their theories about what such visitors can teach us not only about the solar system we call home, but about the vast, cold reaches between the stars where objects like Atlas are born. As 3i Atlas hurtles toward its October 29th perihelion, astronomers are preparing for what could be its most dramatic stage yet. Perihelion is the moment when the object makes its closest approach to the Sun, experiencing the most intense solar radiation and gravitational stress it will encounter during this entire passage. For many comets, this is the turning point that determines whether they survive as coherent bodies or disintegrate into clouds of dust and debris. Atlas's unusual behavior makes this outcome far from certain. If its nucleus is on the smaller end of current size estimates, the intense heat could cause rapid sublimation of its ices, building internal pressure until the body fractures and releases enormous plumes of gas and dust. This could cause its brightness to surge dramatically, an outburst that would make it briefly spectacular in the night sky, before it quickly fades into a diffuse and ghostly remnant. On the other hand, if Atlas is significantly larger and structurally stronger, perihelion might not destroy it, but instead transform it. Increased solar activity could strip away layers of dust that have been insulating its surface for millions of years, exposing fresh material and revealing its internal chemistry. This would give astronomers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study pristine ices and organics that have been locked away since the object's formation in another star system. Some scientists are even hoping that magnetic and electric interactions between the solar wind and Atlas's coma will produce complex tail structures, spirals, disconnection events, or plasma waves that could be monitored with both Earth-based telescopes and space observatories. There are also important orbital implications. The Sun's gravitational influence will slightly alter Atlas's trajectory, and if the object survives intact, it may pass back through the solar system system again thousands or even millions of years from now. If it fragments, the pieces may follow divergent paths, creating a family of interstellar debris that will slowly disperse into the galaxy. Either outcome will teach astronomers something about the mechanics of interstellar object capture and release, an area of research still in its infancy. The weeks surrounding perihelion will therefore be crucial for observation. Astronomers around the world are coordinating to track Atlas through a network of telescopes, hoping to capture every phase of its transformation. Each image, spectrum and polarization map adds another piece to the puzzle of what this object truly is a fragile interstellar snowball on its last journey, or a durable emissary from another star system that will continue its cosmic voyage long after it leaves the sun's influence. If you've been following this story, now is the time to stay tuned. The most dramatic chapter is about to unfold. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn on notifications and drop a like if you're as fascinated by Atlas as we are. The coming weeks could bring once-in-a-generation discoveries, and you won't want to miss what happens when this mysterious visitor faces the full power of the sun.